What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we have some of the latest Destiny 2 news. We talk about the Prestige Raid, Challenge Modes, in-game loot and much more. But before we go any further, stay tuned until the end to find out how you can win some juicy loot. Okay, so the latest weekly update has not long dropped. If you want to check out the whole thing, you will find it linked within the video description. Okay, so within the weekly update, they mention a few interesting things. First thing is the release dates and times for Destiny 2 on PC. Now on stream now, we can see the go live times for the PC release of the game. Also, the requirements to run the game on PC. Now, I'm actually still in two minds as to play Destiny 2 on PC. I mean, it will obviously look and play smoother, but is it worth me playing through the whole entire game again? Which only takes about an hour. I ain't sure. How many of you are playing it on PC? If I've got PC people to play with, I may go ahead and buy it because my PC is definitely capable of running this game. So they go on to talk about the prestige raid and the problem and reason of why it was delayed. They also talk about the fix being too much of a risk for them to put in place now, but are still going to release it anyway. This is what they have to say. Earlier this week, we postponed the launch of the Prestige Raid. An exploit was discovered that could cast doubt on the legitimacy of the fire team who captures the coveted title of Worlds First. We have been working on a fix, but the short term solution contains too much risk. The last thing we want to do is fix an exploit some players are using only to break other parts of the game for everybody. Because of this, we are pushing the fix off to a later date. Does this mean though that we are delaying the Prestige Raid again? No it don't, the Prestige Raid will still begin on October 18th, 10am Pacific. We don't want you to wait any longer to experience what the Raid team has cooked up for those who enjoy a challenge worthy of your talents. One thing we did accomplish as part of our investigation was the creation of a new way to verify a clean finish. We can now detect if any team used the exploit to gain an advantage. This will take some extra time to verify, but we will be able to crown the winners with the confidence they deserve. A safe fix is still being investigated. For this issue, our current plan is to deploy it as part of a future update. We'll give you more details before it's ready to go. So obviously they are having issues fixing the known problem, but the Prestige Red will still go ahead and release on the 18th. But they now have a system in place which can detect legit runs and non-legit runs. So people, if you are out there planning on glitching Callus or no ad spawn, I suggest you not do that. They go on to state this, which is kind of interesting. This isn't the only upcoming raid news. We will be back next week to tell you about raid challenges that have been designed to make you rethink familiar encounters. Now many people are stating this might mean challenge mode, but I ain't sure. I just think they mean they are adding new and mixing up the mechanics to give us more of a challenge to be honest. And that's all this is. If it is anything better though, if it is challenge mode, I welcome it for sure, I seriously do. What do you think it is? Let me know down below within that comment section. They're then going to talk about listening to our feedback via multiple sources, also mentioning the end game loot and hopefully realising the absence of it and they are creating a fix. Here is what they say. Ever since launch, there has been feedback posted anywhere and everywhere that discussions about Destiny 2 happen on the internet. I'm always dialed into our own feedback forum as well as other avenues you travel to share your ideas with us. Some topics are as broad as ways to make the Crucible more fun, some are more specific like add a method to mass delete shaders. We're reading as much of your chatter as we possibly can. There are millions of you after all. One thing we have noticed is a lot of discussions about the end game and how it can be improved. Right now these discussions are also happening in our studio. We are listening but need time to digest everything and draw up the best plans for the future. We will have more to say on this soon so please stay tuned and keep the conversation rolling. So they have taken notice that the lack of things to do once hitting top level seriously needs addressing and the next weekly update should definitely be interesting. I truly hope for the franchise's sake that they do sort the issues out. There is a major part of the Destiny 2 community who have picked up on the fact that Bungie have driven this game in the wrong direction and before they travel too far and run out of gas they need to make a sharp u-turn and head back to the place that this game should be. The game Destiny 2 should be the thing we loved most about Destiny 1 and was that continuous ability to grind for loot. There seems to be none of that now 
and it is a true shame. Hopefully, like I said, next week they have some answers. And on that note, guys, I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do leave a like, it really does help me out. If you want to win some epic loot, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also, join my Discord server, that is found linked within the video description. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.